Good day and welcome to Learn This Quiz Tutorials. Today in our English studies, we shall be looking at example of formal letters. At the end of today's lesson, the students should be able to write formal letters on their own. Remember, in our previous lesson, we talked about what formal letters are and guides to writing a formal letter. Today, let's take an example of a typical formal letter. We have here, write an application for the post of a sales boy to the manager of or on the petrol station in your area. Looking at the board, we have two addresses here. The one on the right, top right position, is the address of the writer. And the other one on the left is the address of the recipient. Let's critically look at it very well. Number five, comma, Abacha Road, comma, Mararaba, comma, Nasarawa State, full stop, 20th October 2020. Look at the address very well and note the punctuations. A line below your date, you will write the address of the recipient on the left hand side of your paper. The manager, Orlando Petrol Station, Mararaba, please note the punctuations. You have your opening remark, they are sub, very formal. Now let's look at the heading of the writing, the reason why you are writing this letter. The reason is you want to apply for a job or for unemployment. You write the heading, application for the post of sales board. Please note here, application, all the words here under the title or the reason for your writing is written all in capital letters. In this kind of situation, you don't need to underline the heading. But in the first letters of each word is taken and written in capital letters and the other words or other letters are in small letters, you must underline the title. Now let's look at the body of the writing. Remember you are asked to go straight to the point, no unnecessary familiarization. So let's look at the content of this application. I wish to apply for the post of sales boy in your organization. I am 23 years old. I finished my secondary school about seven years ago and I passed well. I worked with Total Filling Station for four years and I won several awards for my excellent performance over those years. I enclose the photocopies of my secondary school certificate and my commendation letters. I will be very grateful if my application is favorable. Considered. Your closing remark, yours faithfully, you sign your signature and then write your full name, your first name and your surname. Please note the punctuations and take note of the paragraphing. The paragraphing can be an indent position as we have used here. You look at it, we just shift a little inside, you indent it, and it can also be a block form. So whichever one you want to write, whichever pattern you want to use to write is all correct. But any one you choose, make sure you are consistent in using it. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.